Perexel, Wikipedia article audio. Perexel International is a global provider of biopharmaceutical services. It conducts clinical trials on behalf of its pharmaceutical clients to expedite the drug approval process. It is the second largest clinical research organization in the world and has helped develop approximately 95% of the 200 top-selling biopharmaceuticals on the market today. The company publishes the annual Perexel R&D Statistical Sourcebook, operates the Perexel Academy, and counsels all of the top 50 biopharmaceutical and top 30 biotechnology companies. Acquisition History TGN1412 Clinical Trial Perexel was founded in 1982 by Joseph von Rickenbach and organic chemist and BCEI initially to advise Japanese and German firms on how to navigate the FDA approval process. The firm has grown organically over the years and through 40 acquisitions. Joseph von Rickenbach is credited with establishing Perexel's culture and practices based on the principles he experienced as a researcher at Schering Plow in Lucerne, Switzerland. In 1990, the firm expanded internationally and established new practice areas. By 1999 it had a staff of 4,545 offices. In the 2000s, it grew to over 18,000 employees. Perexel's consulting and clinical trial work has helped establish many household drug brands and contributed to numerous successes in modern pharmacology. The company was acquired by private equity firm Pamplona Capital Management for approximately $5.0 billion. The deal closed in September of 2017. In March 2006, a Perexel run trial on behalf of TE Genero, the now bankrupt German biotechnology firm, on its anti inflammatory drug TGN1412 to treat rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, or leukemia, caused severe inflammation and multiple organ failure in six healthy volunteers at a facility based at Northwick Park Hospital in London. The drug had been tested on animals but this was the first test on humans. Perexel became the target of legal proceedings from lawyers representing the injured volunteers after the insurance policy of TE Genero was unable to provide sufficient compensation. When the liable company subsequently declared bankruptcy, Lawyers for the volunteers initiated legal proceeding against Perexel and the two parties later entered into talks, the results of this meeting have not been made public. A documentary shown in the UK on September 28, 2006 featuring journalist Brian Deere as part of Channel 4's Dispatches series exposed uncertainty about the existence of data that should mandatorily have been submitted by TE Genero to the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency prior to the trial indicating whether TGN1412 had been adequately tested on human blood in vitro. Concerns were also raised about whether a safe human dosage was properly obtained by TE Genero. The MHRA however concluded that none of the companies involved could be held responsible for the outcome of the test and that the adverse events that occurred were most likely caused by an unpredicted biological action of the drug in humans.